Good evening. You must be wondering, what is this man doing? Am I sure or I need to ask him, what is disruption? Are you wondering, each one of you? Yes, we have created a great place for people to disrupt themselves. That's inspiring conversations. Am I right? So why are we here? Why are we here? All right? This is disruption. I wish to share his thought. Why do we do what we do every single moment of our life? Why do we do what we do every single moment of our life? Our actions give us results. Our actions, I pulled it up, our actions give us results. And results are joy, pleasure, delight, and happiness or otherwise. Joy, pleasure, delight, happiness or otherwise. Right? Now, when we change the frame, Radha, when you change the frame, when you change the frame and put a new frame, when you change the frame, the results change. And when the results change, the world calls it innovation. The world calls it innovation. We call it disruption. We call it disruption. I would like to present what we do at disruption with my two colleagues coming up on stage. Vivek Verma. Give him a big hand, please. Vivek Verma is going to share with you. You've been listening to me for some years now. I've been coming here. Now Vivek is going to talk to you what disruption all about is, what three of us are going to do together in the lives of people here and everywhere. Thank you, Vivek. Vivek is a co-founder at Disrupt. He is also the organizer of TEDx Hyderabad, a dear friend, an ex carvi an angel investor, and lots more. So I present to you Vivek Varma. Thank you, Harish. Thank you very much for giving us an opportunity to present what we are attempting to do at Disrupt. I'd like to start with a very short uh, a one minute video uh, to tell you a little about what we uh, are attempting to do at uh, Disrupt. So those were some shots from, uh, from what we typically do as an introduction to people about what we do at Disrupt and I'm going to spend the next maybe about seven, eight minutes talk to you a little bit about uh, what we do uh, at Disrupt. So uh, uh, like, like uh, Harish mentioned, you know, uh, it's usually about how we look at things, how we change the frame and we use this very often between the three of us that quite often it's about changing the lens, changing the, uh, the frame that we have. The situations remain, remain the same. 
and if we change the frame our outlook to that changes and if the outlook changes the results can change and that's what we uh, are attempting to do through uh, what we do at disrupt and a lot of you will be wondering that we've created a lot of uh, intrigue around the word disrupt we've created intrigue around uh, these alphabets that you see placed in a funny manner you know some of you may even be wondering uh, that while we are talking about changing and disrupting people's mind we don't even know english ourselves because we don't know how to spell the word disrupt and all of that is part of a philosophy that i'll share with you uh, the moment we have the uh, ppt which we have here so let's uh, let's uh, uh, start by talking about next that how did this whole concept of disrupt started you know why why are we talking about disrupt why is it important uh, uh, for th using this word all three of us come from a corporate background uh, like harish mentioned i come from a, a background of pnl for 30 years have done multiple startups have now invested in startups harish all of you already know i don't need to introduce you he's already a member of inspiring conversations for some time lokesh also comes from that background we want to work with people to see how can this change in a in a lot of ways very similar to what you people are attempting to do through these uh, conversations that you have and i must thank rajesh for creating such a wonderful platform which you are already part of so that's how the the birth of disrupt happened when we came together and we said how do we go out to the world how do we work with people to try and change the frame change the lens that they have so that the results can vary so that a lot of different things can happen next so as a result we created this platform uh, which is what we call disrupt which is for individuals for corporates to look at things differently for them to kind of go back and question their current and current does not necessarily need to be in a bad state current could be that i am doing phenomenally well but what can i do to take this to a paradoxically high uh, growth i might be the number one in india how can i become a global superpower or how i might be doing very well in one category but how can i take it to different categories so how do i question my current to take it to the next level to see what i can do to go further unleash my own potential create the challenges create the possibilities that exist within me and unleash all of that and take it forward uh, next please and that's where i come to this word you know this because for us this is the most critical piece uh, and and if i was to say the most important thing i want to leave behind today or the three of us as co-founders of disrupt want to leave behind is the philosophy behind this play of alphabets colors uh, and the wrong spelling so that's our philosophy i'd request if you can keep that slide on uh, uh, for a minute please so so when you look at that word and look at the play of alphabets uh, we said we want to do this change in people's mindset and when we want to do it we said we must use a provocative word because this world likes provocation seeks attention or rather gives attention when there is some provocation so we said instead of using innovation or change let's use the word disrupt and when we use the word disrupt we got a reaction from most people saying disruption is about technology how many of you in this room also would have thought that when you use the word innovation change disruption technology seems to be an integral part of that yes no yeah most often than not that's what the reaction we got our belief at uh, disrupt is that while that's a very very important element and very important component of innovation or disruption it is not the reason why disruption happens it is a very very good enabler and that is the reason why the t is a small t in disrupt because we think it's an enabler and it is not the innovation it is not the disruption that happens if you really want to cause disruption and if you want to cause disruption if any of us want to cause disruption two true disruptions will happen when we can focus on the people the way they think or the processes and if you go back in history and look at most innovations look at most disruptions that is because someone disrupted the thinking or someone disrupted the process and that is what we think is where the change will happen which is why the double p it's a deliberate change in the spelling it's not because we didn't know the spelling of disrupt but we created that because we believe that true disruption will happen when we can disrupt the people or their thinking and disrupt the process and i think that is the key like i said that we want to focus on at disrupt 
That's our speciality that we focus on people and process. Now, when we talk about people or thinking, what are we talking about uh, in terms of the people and what, what part of the thinking? So that's where the I and you, which is in red, come in. We think that the thinking needs to change for us to manage our ego or ahankar, as we call it. The day we are able to manage that and make it shrink and listen to the world, listen to the customers, listen to the stakeholders, listen to our employees, listen to the market, listen to the society, is when we can learn to innovate because that's when I'll know what's wrong with me, what's wrong with my product. And that's the reason why I is small and you is big. And that's the philosophy we want people to imbibe because if you want to be a disruptor, you've got to learn to manage the I. And I'm not here trying to propagate that I is not important. Okay, this is purely from a feedback perspective. There is a pride we must have and we cannot compromise the pride, but we shouldn't let the pride get to ego. We must keep it within the limits of pride. So that's the I and you uh, that we focus on. So if you want to change, and all of us want to change, right? Any one of you in this room who doesn't want to change the current state? No, right? So all of us want to move ahead. All of us want to change the frame. Then our belief is we've got to go back and focus on people, process, use technology as an enabler, and manage the I and you in terms of the ego. And you know what happens when we do all of this? The only three alphabets left in the word disrupt which is desired and specified results will come our way. And that's what we talked about. If you change the fence, if you change the, the frame, the results will change. So if we do this people process with technology as an enabler, I and you, the results will change. And that's what will happen with uh, Disrupt. So that's our philosophy. Uh, next, at, at Disrupt, and which is the reason why you see these play of alphabets. Next. Why do we need to disrupt? You know, I think to some extent I talked about that we need to question the present. We need to question where we stand today. We've got to see what else can we do? How can we get fully engaged? Are we really utilizing the entire uh, resources available to us? Not just our own resources, but the other people, our teams, our society, our uh, customers, our vendors and all of that. Are we really utilizing uh, all of that uh, or not. And that's the reason why we think amongst a few other reasons, but in the interest of time, we'll focus on the fact that we need to change because we have to question the current and look at the, the future and move ahead from there. We've got to learn, leave a mark and we don't want to just leave a trail. We need to leave a mark. We want people to say that here's someone who made a difference uh, in the way th things were thought through and moved ahead. Next, please. And this is a thought that I want to kind of end my presentation and leave with you. That in our view, this is the journey uh, that we all take, you know, and all of us are entrepreneurs. A lot of times people get confused between startups and entrepreneurs. You know, startups are people who are starting their business, but entrepreneurship is a mindset. You know, you don't need to be a startup to be an entrepreneur. You know, you can be in a job and still be an entrepreneur. And I keep claiming this in most of the sessions that we do. You know the best example of an entrepreneur? Any one of you guessing? All of you live with an entrepreneur. All of you have lived with an entrepreneur from the time you were born in this world. The best example of an entrepreneur is a mother. But not many of us ever look at a mother as an entrepreneur. Meaning a lot of companies go without paying salaries to their employees, especially in the early uh, stages. But I haven't heard of any mother who put a child to sleep without feeding the child. Isn't that a sign of an entrepreneurship? All of us have learned to walk, all of us have learned to swim, all of us have learned to eat. And where did we get all of this learning from? That came to us from the entrepreneur called our mother. So entrepreneurship is a way of thinking. So our, our belief is that the journey of entrepreneurship is through this. We start with the environment, you know, where are we located? And we have to kind of go back and ask ourselves the question that Harish started the session with. That we've got to ask ourselves, what do we want? Where are we on this journey? Are we still in this environment stage? Are we at the behavior state? Have we understood our behaviors? Have we still understood our skills and competencies and are we trying to uh, manage them? Have we moved to the values and beliefs? That's where the strategy will happen. Have we moved to an identity that this is what I'm attempting to do? And eventually, if I was to say the state of nirvana is when I've got a vision, 
when I know that this is what I want to do. This is the purpose, this is the passion that we want to do. So I just want to leave this thought with you that each of us must keep constantly questioning ourselves that where are we on this grid and we will keep moving. You know, sometimes we'll go to the top and then maybe a little bit later we'll come back and then go back and come back and go back and come back. So where are we on this uh, chart? Next, please. Next, please. With that, I come to the, the last slide, which is, I, I talked about the three of us. This is what three of us have come together to attempt to do, to work with people to see how we can help bring about this change, help bring about this disruption uh, in people's lives. Uh, you know, Lokesh comes from a financial services background, has been part of the financial services for about 30 years. I've spent 30 years in the corporate world doing startups in the service sector. And like I said, Harish is someone you all know. So with that, I'd like to end with the last slide to say, please join us in this movement called Disrupt. Because that's what we all strive to do, not just in our professional lives, but even in our personal lives. So thank you very much. Thank you for giving us the opportunity and letting us share our story. I'd request both my co-founders to come up and all of us would like to just say thank you very much by taking a bow. Uh, to give us a chance to talk to you all today. Thank you.